Good morning, and thank you for joining us on Wavy News 10 on Fox 43. I'm Don Roberts. And I'm Katie Collette. Two big delays for NASA's launch of the Orion spacecraft. The agency delayed the launch because of a boat being in the way, and most recently because of some wind gusts. And now NASA says it's waiting for winds to subside enough to pick a new launch time. The unmanned Orion space capsule atop a Delta IV rocket uh, is set to blast off from the Kennedy Space Center, and it was supposed to blast off just after 7 this morning, then again at 7.17. Now, Tenio Sides' Rico Bush is here with more about local students who helped to get the Orion spacecraft off the ground. Well, good morning, Don and Katie. Certainly this delay is not looking good for those students who plan to watch that launch today. But five students from the Governor's School for Science and Technology in Hampton entered a contest, the Orion Exploration Design Challenge, to build radiation shielding for the spacecraft. And, of course, they won. Well, when the rocket blasts off today from the Kennedy Space Center, um, their shield will be on it. Now, the shield is just a bit larger than the softball. Uh, they will test to see how it does, and if, of course, if it works, a much larger version will be used to protect astronauts going up in the spacecraft in the future. Now, NASA says the Orion spacecraft test flight is the first of its kind in 40 years since the Apollo Moon program, and it's all intended for deep space travel. This nation is going to launch a spacecraft intended to carry humans beyond low Earth orbit. That's a big deal. We're actually excited about this particular step on our journey to the red planet, to Mars. Uh, and it is a journey. Uh, I don't want people to get focused on the destination. This is a journey. Now here's a picture of the five students who created the prototype. A former NASA engineer monitored all of them. Now all the students are in college. They are freshmen right now, and they have been reunited in Florida to watch today's rocket launch. Of course, we'll continue to watch uh, NASA as they prepare to try to uh, uh, get that flight, that rocket up in the air. Rico Bush, turn to your side. Rico, thank you very much. It could be at least a year before another rocket launches from the pad where an unmanned Antares rocket exploded at the Wallops Island flight facility earlier this fall. Chopper 10 flew over the launch pad the next morning. You may remember the damage from this before and after view. Facility officials reassured the community Wednesday any contamination from the explosion stayed right around the pad. They say work will begin in the next few days to remove that contaminated soil. Lunches should start up again in 2016.